Hey, what's up, MD? Steve Kukolo here. 2011 season, get ready for the USA uh, Championships in July. Just uh, getting a little off-season training in today. And, uh, you know, usually every, every video that we usually do is kind of pre-contest stuff. So good to get a little off-season training. Um, training my partner, Jeff Dwelly here. He's about five weeks out. And uh, he'll tell you a little bit about what he's getting ready for. But, um, um, you know, training at Metroflex. And about uh, four weeks ago, I had shoulder surgery. Uh, I had a my clavicle bone started to get some inflammation in there due to like old sports injury and started to spur So I had to get a doctor to go in there and kind of shave the end of the bone off and, and smooth it out Because it was really it was nicking those tendons in there and just causing excruciating pain So I really really couldn't train any chest or shoulders for about I'm gonna say about eight weeks And it's actually been only about my second week back now and so the, ch the challenge really has been is just uh, maintaining my eating trying to get what I can in training wise like you know I didn't stop training legs or arms or a little bit of back that I could and now about four weeks after surgery I feel about you know 95 percent and uh, you know just been a little bit of recovery time but you know a little downtime I've had from the uh, you know after my show and now before really starting to hit this uh, pre-contest training you know it, I've never wanted to ever take a little break but I feel you know doing it so many years now the little break that I did take about you know about two months just kind of some light training here and there uh, really kind of refreshed my body and it kind of rejuvenated me which I feel I really needed um, I think that the uh, you know continually hitting it is not a bad thing but you know after so many years I think kind of just just mentally is more of a, a break and that I needed more than anything so I feel kind of like the first day I stepped in the gym ready to, to gain some muscle again and, and uh, I'm pretty really motivated and you know, having having MD, you know, on my my side, it's it's feels like I just got all this uh, full tank of gas. I'm ready to roll. So, I'll pass it off to Jeff here. We we'll talk a little bit about uh, what he's getting ready for and some of the training we're doing and stuff. And uh, another real quick thing, uh, you know, Honey uh, Honey Rambo and I are now working together. Uh, some people know, and so uh, you know, we've he's put together my training program and um, you know some of my diet stuff. So. You know, as, as I get more and more of my prep, we're going to start, uh, you know, getting more and more involved. And, you know, I'm going to be heading out to see him. So we're going to, uh, you know, a lot more lot more stuff in store for uh, for Steve Kukolo and MD. So uh, here's Jeff Dwelly. Hey, MD. I'm Jeff Dwelly here at uh, Metroflex Plano after uh, arm day with uh, my big training partner, Steve Kuklo. And uh, I'm five weeks out from the West Texas Classic. Haven't done a show in three years. 2008, I did the... California State Championship and won the heavyweight class and then got fifth as a heavy in junior uh, junior nationals and been focused on my business. Uh, I've been growing my business, trained a lot of competitors uh, in the NPC and the IFBB. Uh, still love to train myself and so teamed up with Steve back in October after he got through the nationals and we've been training hard and I got motivated to do a show again and so hopefully I go to the West Texas and get in queued and Maybe Steve and I can train together and get ready for USA together. We'll see how that goes. Um, Steve's made a lot of progress just in the last couple of weeks, and it's inspiring to train with somebody who's so talented and keeps me really motivated, and, and uh, it's going to be a really, really good journey for him, and it really helps push me along and uh, puts fresh blood in the group and learn some new things from him, and we kind of have a good synergy working together and doing some different things. and. He and I have been really focused on uh, training hard on back and, and bringing up some of the stuff that we need to bring up and using some of Hani's techniques, F FST7, to close out some of our days and and then just beating on each other in general, which is which is always pretty fun. And so I'm really excited for the journey on, on both sides of the ball as a trainer and consultant for competitors and then uh, to, to kind of take a ride and get on stage again myself. So uh, it'll be ex an exciting 2011. and. Um, and uh, I'm excited uh, to be a part of the team and uh, to get a little uh, get a little play on MD. All right, um, as many like I said, you know, work with Hani. We kind of sat down uh, and, and talked after nationals. Uh, we've you know had many hours on the phone, just kind of talking about what I need to work on, and um, really what I figured what I really need to bring up. I think is my back, you know, and and it's never. Uh, just you know, always can work on legs, always can work on chest, arms. You know, kind of the standout stuff on on stage. But really, I, I feel I need to bring up my back a little bit more. So we really focused on some of my training um, and certain techniques that that he wants me to do. You know, a lot of pull-up stuff. Um, 
being more strict with a lot of my back movements, a lot more squeezing. A lot of people ask me, you know, weight versus, you know, form, this and that. You know, I've been really strict on my form with my back. Um, you know, I've always been able to get pretty crazy with some weights and stuff, but, um, you know, it's just kind of that white boy back, I guess. You know, Jeff and I always kind of joke about it. Like, you know, white boys got their real thick back. That's about it, you know. But, <laughs> but really, um, uh, we focused on that is, is my main focus this off season, And, um, you know, going my off-season diet, you know, I always pre eat pretty clean year-round and, and kind of similar to my, my diet um, that I do pre-contest. And that's always allowed me to kind of eat a lot more when, I, when I'm pre-contest. But um, <clears throat> I think Hani, one of the big things he, he wanted me to do was kind of now that I'm really truly off-season, my training's about 100% after my surgery, my injuries, this and that, is really just start pounding the food more. And, and uh, that'll allow me to, you know, I'll, I'll bring my weight up quite a bit. Like right now I'm about 280. And then, uh, you know, I probably try to get up to about 290, 295, you know, and, I'm, and I feel my body's just starting to grow again. So I feel pretty fresh, not like I'm, you know, maxed out by any means, and I feel really good. So I'm excited what, you know, the, the, what, what the end result of this offseason is going to bring for the stage. And, and like Jeff was saying, you know, that, that working with somebody when you're, when you're training with somebody that's pre-contest, it, it really makes your off-season training a whole nother level. But even having someone when you're both pre-contest at the same time is just the intensity that you get when uh, you both really push each other because you got an end goal you want to get to is really key when it comes to training. Um, <clears throat> You know, Jeff, Jeff's kind of a testament of, of what he tra trains all his clients and everything. It's just, you know, the hard work and, and dedication and, uh, you know, a lot of good good uh, technique with the training. So that's really key that, that I think if you get all your, your, your books in a row and everything and, and you kind of want to uh, just you kind of start tweaking little things, you know, if you kind of are consistent with things, I think, you know, when you got your training, uh, start tweaking your training a little bit. And I think that's really uh, making a difference at this point. Um, <clears throat> and then... So big thing, you know. I'm looking forward to getting on stage at USA now. You know, I, I think that uh, all, all I got kind of got all my uh, the equation down of what I need to do, and I'm, I'm just really pumped and excited. I feel really refreshed. Um, so you know, today, real quick, I run through a little arm workout. Um, we did uh, it was a pretty heavy workout. You know, we're we're doing certain body parts. We're doing some FST7 stuff, like Jeff said. Um, you know, Honey, Honey's got me doing, um, and, and it's working really well. Um, you know, we started with some uh, easy bar curl, went pretty heavy on that with some skull crushers. Um, you know, that's pretty straightforward exercise, not a whole lot of uh, special technique there. We, you know, we kind of go a little bit higher rep, 12 to 15. You know, sometimes we go 20 rep stuff, you know, but never go real low rep, like 6 to 8. You know, I never really feel, I, I'm a big volume guy, Jeff is too. You know, definitely feel like the, uh, like the burn when we train. Um, and then, uh, then we went over, did some heavy, uh, um, hammer curls with some some dumbbells things went um, you know it got a little crazy but it, I haven't haven't really done that much weight in a long time actually I don't think I've ever done 120s for curls but um, you know, it felt pretty good you know it's like to throw a weight around every once in a while and did uh, did some, some uh, close hand together push downs <clears throat> hit that trial a little bit more and then we finished up with some FT7 stuff uh, some spider curls kind of a unique movement Hani told me to do laying on a bench Kind of it's really worked the peak of the bicep, and it's really working quite well. So, yeah, I've been doing preps, uh, consulting, and training uh, for competitors. Uh, I got for about 12 years, and uh, I've had a real been really fortunate to work with or. Uh, work in conjunction with uh, several r really knowledgeable people, uh, Chad Nichols, Tony Rambod. Uh, I've been fortunate to learn from some people who have uh, an incredible talent and an incredible eye for, for the business. And uh, my principles have, have sort of evolved from, from a combination of some of those things. And typically what I would do with any client is, is try to make an assessment of, uh, of their body and, and, and where they've come from. And, and uh, today I'm, I'm uh, a pretty big believer in, in using a sort of a, a moderate carb rotation and a, uh, a moderate cardio uh, technique and then just putting someone in a program and figuring out how their body moves at the first and then, and then moving with it. I have some clients who do an incredible job on low carb or no carb keto diets and I have some that won't lose a pound on keto diets and they work only in carb rotation and I have some who burn a, a lot of body fat on low intensity long duration cardio and I have some who have to go out and run at the track and so I've found over the years that every individual really is that as an individual and everyone is so different and I think the thing that 
that makes people really good at this is, is, is getting an idea of what, what kind of a client, what kind of a body you have up front, and then assessing that body and then getting on the same page with that person and then learning how they move and do it as quickly as you can. And, and that is assessing how they retain glycogen and how they spend energy and what body parts are good and what are bad and what do you have to do. Do they respond to high volume training? Do they respond to low volume training? Twice a week training, once a week training? And once you start to get that client's parameters in place, I think you can start moving forward. And, and I think really the best way that you can do that is to have experience with a lot of clients and see a lot of bodies. And once you do that, you can start to at least uh, familiarize yourself with body types and metabolism types and muscle fiber types and so that you can categorize somebody and you can start making quicker assessments and better assessments based on your history with clients you've had before. Because typically, once you've had several clients, you're going to have fi someone find someone who falls into that category. And then cutting across all the categories, as I train uh, a lot of different kind of clients, you know, finding the program that meets the right criterion for that for that certain type today, whether it be bikini or figure or bodybuilding or, or fitness, and then moving them into that, that category, or maybe moving somebody out of one category into another. But I think the most important part is finding what works for somebody, putting them in the right system, and then moving them along as fast as you can. All right, wrapping things up, guys. Just really want to thank MD, uh, everybody on uh, musculardevelopment.com. You know, my Q&A, everybody's, uh, you know, getting in there asking me some questions, uh, and I do my best to get back to you. Uh, my day's off of work and stuff, and, uh, you know, really appreciate the support everybody's giving me. Uh, you know, Steve and Robbie, you guys are awesome. Um, you know, and I want everybody to know, too, uh, coming in March in a few weeks, uh, I'm going to have the release of my new DVD. Uh, Steve Kukolo, it's the future of bodybuilding. Uh, that kind of explains my style, the uh, crazy eight training style that uh, many people are kind of uh, learning about. So uh, it's, it's a pretty neat DVD, real uh, informative, has a lot to do with uh, diet and talk a lot about my training and, and uh, kind of some lifestyle stuff. And just kind of take a look inside of, uh, of Steve Kukolo's kind of life. So definitely check it out if you get a chance. Uh, be on my Facebook and stuff and hopefully uh, get my website, stevekukolo.net, up soon. Um, so, MD, looking forward to the next one, and we'll see you soon. Steve Kuklo, Jeff Dwelly, 2011. Hey, guys, I just want to say thank you to MD today for letting me participate in the, in the video and the arm training. It's really awesome. Uh, it's a really great experience to be training with Steve, and I appreciate, uh, Robbie, you giving me the chance. And uh, I do contest preps, and I'm a consultant. I've been doing it for a long time. If you want to get in touch with me, you can find me uh, on Facebook. It's Jeff Dwelly, D-W-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, or you can email me at J M. Dwelly, D-W-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, at sbcglobal.net. I'd be happy to answer questions, uh, give you my pricing, scheduling. Um, look me up. Thanks.